tell us a little bit about your restaurant. Yeah, it's uh, it's about four acres of uh, of land right. and uh, tin barrel in the southern highlands yep. in, the, in the mountains area. Right. And we uh, we started off with a small vegetable garden, um, like any sort of kitchen garden type yep. thing. And now we've we've grown it to something a little bit larger, where we're um, growing a lot of medieval sort of botanicals and stuff that you can't you can't get on the open market. You know, you can buy borage, but we're using a system that the thistle of the borage, the stem, um, everything. So um, we're using that. We're using yarrow. Yep. We're using um, varieties of spinach like virafly spinach and uh, komatsuna and all that sort of stuff as well. So mustard spinaches. Yep. Um, and these are all tiny little things that we grow for garnishes and, and for you know the wow factors of our dishes and um, you know fresh chamomile as opposed to dry chamomile wow. having your tea. Um, so that, that that little garden is about 400, 500 square meters. Um, tiny. Yeah. And then we have another garden now which does all drizzle and artichokes and uh, wow. you know all that sort of stuff, you know, tomatoes, all that. And do you have any animals on your... Yeah, we're doing, um, we're farming uh, all our own pork now as well um, and lamb. So yep. yeah, pretty much if it, can, if it can walk, it can go on the spit. So, so is that a process? Yeah, so basically uh, Grant's got his sage stick there. I'm going to show that sage. Uh, yeah, so it's, he dips that in oil. He dips that in oil and he just gets it going nice and slow. Now, we want the skin to dry out so it gets yeah. really crispy. So how long will this cook for? Uh, four hours. Wow. Yeah, and then we rotate. So we just get the next sitting. Next sitting. Yeah. yeah.